Up to the 18th century, the population was stable or increased very slowly. There were many births and likewise many deaths. Economic development in the 18th century, along with progress in hygiene and medicine, brought an end to the mortality crises due to epidemics and famine in Western Europe and North America. Families were still large and the birth rate remained high, but deaths became less frequent and the population grew rapidly. Fewer children now died in infancy, and adults realized that fewer offspring were needed to maintain the family line. To limit the burden of raising large families, couples found ways to control their fertility and the number of children per woman decreased. As the demographic transition progressed, the death rate bottomed out at a new low level, and the birth rate followed suit. Today in Europe, families are small, just below two children on average and practically all children reach adulthood and replace their parents in the next generation. By the end of the 20th century, the numbers of births and deaths in Europe had practically evened out, and the population stopped increasing. The demographic transition was complete. The demographic transition in Europe lasted for two centuries. The fact that mortality had already fallen to a low level before birth rates started declining led to a temporary imbalance resulting in rapid population growth during the transition period. In just 200 years, the population of Europe was multiplied by four. The demographic transition which began in Europe and North America is now affecting the entire planet. Mortality has declined everywhere and is still falling. And, like European and American families in the past, couples are choosing to limit their family size.